actually still in Byron Bay. Being honest, I really do not want to leave. I mean, I know quite a lot of us feel the same. This has definitely been the best place on the trip so far. I actually really like the vibe here. Like, everyone's so chilled out. I just feel so carefree. Like, I'm still doing my job out here, obviously, at the same time, but it just feels like a lot less pressure because we're just doing so much fun stuff at the exact same time. Today, we are going to see some waterfalls. We are actually going with a company called Behind the Bay. I really don't know what to expect. I don't know whether there's going to be some, like, wildlife. The way that we're walking, I think think there's like supposed to be some koalas and stuff so maybe i'll catch that on camera on the walk we're also going to the lighthouse as well i'll probably just vlog a few montage clips there's not really a lot that i'd like to catch you guys up on apart from i do actually want to talk about the whole reason we're here and that is because of my adventure project they are a uk online travel agency and they're basically just going to sort you out completely they have planned our whole east coast tour so they have planned like our accommodation our overnight buses the tours that we're doing the people that we're meeting like honestly they have been such life savers and the way that they work is they talk to you personally you have a few calls with them and they will plan your personalized trip for you they have recently introduced group tours which is what we are on and genuinely i don't think we could do this trip without them we were saying this earlier i feel like i'd just be so unprepared so Seb, you're an absolute lifesaver thank you so so much it has been such an incredible experience so far i mean i still can't believe i jumped out of a plane and was even in the middle of the sea i'll catch you up later in the rest of the vlog when we're doing the waterfall tours i'm so excited and i'm hopefully gonna get some cute gopro footage of like whatever we see there so yeah come along with me i'm going out with you tonight are you close to here mm -hmm. good day possums we're in the bloody jungle hello mr teddy bear No, I don't need that much, yeah Butterflies along the wall. Look at that. I'm feeling down. I don't know why. That is what so beautiful. They've literally followed me this whole walk. But I'm glad you're here. Oh, 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 oh. I don't ask for much. No, I don't need that much. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Though I want your touch. So what we did yesterday, this is literally torture. <laughs> yesterday we hiked all the way up to the lighthouse. It was a four hour walk in total. It was absolutely yeah. ridiculous. You what? Four hour walk in total, I thought. Yeah, Do that two back. back. You're lying. Okay, well, I'm actually a pussy then. It was only a two hour total walk. I just know Sophie's so happy to be back in the jungle after she saw a big black snake yesterday. Bloody bonza! Let's have a bloody bonza! I see you, baby. Shaking that ass. not then i'm lying but i think that's where we are thanks for doing the voiceover You're <laughs> we are a little bit in the jungle right now this is our last stop on the tour but from the little montage footage you would have just seen and there's actually three stops on this tour with behind the bay we went to like a big lake that you can swim in there was like some hammocks along the trees and there was a kiosk as well which is really really nice so we managed to get some food and now this is the last stop in the tour i don't know if you guys can even hear me but this is so terrifying oh! 
in like a few well i think it's like two weeks they've got the great barrier reef tour and i just don't know how i'm actually gonna get in the sea and do that because like obviously with the kayaking i was in a kayak i capsize and yeah i can hold on to it and like i've got a life vest on and stuff scuba diving scares me a little bit because you're under the water i mean i know that you've got like an oxygen mask and stuff but what if i like panic you can't even come up to i'm just so scared yes i actually bought a crystal that helps with conquering fears i'll show you a bit later and i'll give you the name of it and stuff in case any of you guys are interested oh my god look at this what the f this is so pretty and i'm not talking about myself i'd run a thousand miles if i could run with you and from what i have heard you do the same thing blankets outside on the grass by the beach and they're playing live music it's super super chilled and because it's our last night we thought we'd sit and chill for a bit so i am going to end this day here the next time you will see me i will be in surface paradise which is probably the thing that i'm like least looking forward to not that like i'm so annoyed to be going at all i'm more excited for like which sundays and stuff but it might change my mind surface paradise might also be one of my favorite places who knows i will let you know when i'm there and i don't really have anything else to say goodbye Look at everyone's shoulders. They're literally like red walls from carrying the backpacks. I'll let you be the boss, cause I'll go where you go. They're like turtles. I actually look like I'm a different species. This is not fun. The view's pretty cool though. I'll let you be the boss, cause I'll go where you go. We have arrived. This is our room. This is mine, Byron's and Anna's room. There's actually not much to it, but like there's actually nothing you need. We've got a mirror, which we didn't have in the yeah, last we don't one. one. You don't have one. I think so. There's also aircon. We don't have a remote, but we literally just press it and it comes on. This is Jazz's soap's room. So they've got a double room. Oh my god, it's so much colder in here. I'm so jealous. So look, they have a remote and we don't have a remote. I'm coming in here to have a bit of a relaxation later. Oh, and always some tissues. You know <laughs> I love the fact she's got like this little balcony. Downstairs is so pretty as well. I'll show you that in a sec. I'll do a full tour. So what you're seeing on the screen right now is Jazz's goal for this <laughs> surface paradise trip. Basically, in my hometown, we have these puffins. I have no idea why we have the puffins, but they're only there for a year. And you go around taking pictures of them. So me and my mum, Lola and Harvey all did it one day. And then got here and there were some freaking koalas that are basically koalas. the same thing. I love Halloween. So... 
fucking bats. I love Halloween. <laughs> so I was like, oh my god, I have to take pictures. I was like, show my mum. If they're only there for a year, does that not mean they're there all the time? No, they're only there for like a year and then they disappear. Good morning, groovy girls. So today we are having a really chilled beach day. And the first thing on my agenda today is to get these nails sorted. Before we came, everyone was like, are you definitely going to have your nails in and stuff? Like, is there even going to be anywhere? And I feel like everyone else thought it was going to be a lot more rural. Of course you can get your nails done when you're over here, guys. Absolutely. I am going to go to a place that I found yesterday. It's called Jade Nails and I'm just going to have plain nude. I'm also going to get my toes done because walking barefoot and everything and walking on the sand and stuff, you'd think it would exfoliate your feet, but it's actually just made them like really, really dry. So I'm going to have a pedicure as well. I have a bit of a pamper day and then we're also just going to the beach. So today's video is going to be super chilled out. We are going to be going to find those koalas that Jazz just spoke about. To be honest, it's like an hour walk, so we don't really know the area, so it'll actually be quite nice to just see what's here. <laughs> <laughs> we did go to the mall yesterday. I've got some pickles. This sounds really weird, but you guys will know what I'm on about. Hold on. I got these. I was gonna order them off TikTok shop, but you guys know I love pickles. So I got the hot mama, I also got the sour pickle, and then I got the garlic. I'm really excited about the garlic. I think the hot's gonna be far too hot for me. I don't really like sour things, so I'll probably hate that one too. But I've got everyone else to have them with me just in case I don't like them, so it doesn't go to waste. I'm gonna try them a bit later on when I've ate though, because right now I haven't ate and it's about nine o'clock, which isn't actually too early, but I have been up since six and I'm starving and I don't particularly want to line my stomach with a pickle because I don't think that would be very good. Tomorrow we head to Brisbane. Hello. Hi Queen, what did you get? Hi. Chocolate and caramel muffin. Oh banging. Mm. We're going to Happy Flower, uh, uh, Happy Flower. Bro, come on, my name is Sophie, yeah, and I'm the best, yeah, you know I'm petty, I like to stuff some mess, yeah, said you don't like me, yeah, said you want to get down, yeah, you don't want to post up, but you can come around, break it down, no, to the T-T-Y. Okay, let's go Brisbane, let's go! I am back from the beach day that we had and bloody hell guys, we are all so burnt and believe me, I was topping up on the Fat of 50 quite a lot, but I've like burnt my eyelids and only this side of my face because that's the side that the sun was facing. I thought the sun was strong in Sydney from a couple of friends that I have that live there and no, it's so much stronger the further up the coast I'm getting. From now on, we want to cook more stuff in the hostels. Before, we haven't really stayed long enough to like buy food because we've been just doing like overnight coaches and stuff or we'll be doing excursions in the day so we're really not there to cook lunch. Whereas now we've kind of got like a few free days coming up. We just don't want to be spending that much money. Also, to like you guys watching, if you were to do this, I feel like it's a lot more realistic to show you us cooking and stuff. There's been a lot of stuff that I haven't filmed if we have eight in a hostel. We need the salt. That's what I thought. Like, salt, salt. Where is it then? Guys, just a little tip when you're traveling. If you get these from cafes or anything, these are lightsabers and they're free. That should have smells good, girls. Hi. Oh, you're doing a good job. The more I think about it, if you're watching this for like an educational value, you're doing this in the future and you just want to get some tips and tricks, it's really not helpful for me to just show the restaurants and like us eating out all the time. So what we did today was we went to Coles. Highly recommend such good food for value. I remember going into it when I was in Melbourne and I was just so shocked at the selection of stuff, like all the fresh fruit. They have like pick a mix for nuts and dried fruits and everything. They have really affordable like meat, fish, everything. Honestly, really, really, really good value. So what you can see right now is ready meals, like pasta, they serve four people. So maybe if you make some friends, you guys can all contribute to this or just have it for yourself. The Tupperware tub that I showed in my Pat With Me video, you can put the leftovers in that. I cannot recommend enough all of the like microwave meals, risottos and stuff. Look at my stupid face. He's so much more burnt than me. And my chest. You're actually a tomato. I know. I could have done with that, my risotto. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I also got these, which was a six pack. I do believe they were $4, which is literally two pounds. Every time I think of the conversion, I know it's not exactly dollar to pound. So one pound is 179 Australian dollars. We've got the washing. Woo! Oh, we've also just done some laundry. Honestly, I feel like the laundry facility is every single place has been so good. So just while the girls are hanging up the laundry in the background, I will just explain that quickly. So what we found is in every single hostel, it's about five or six dollars in the arts factory for example they had like soap included in the price whereas i don't think here did but it was one dollar cheaper however there was fabric softener and stuff like that placed on top which i think is for communal use if not whoever has bought it has just left it there for people to use i also would recommend not bringing as many clothes as 
we actually did because we are picking a lot up on the way that is like so much better suited for this climate so if you are wanting to pack light <laughs> you can definitely just pick up some stuff on the way there's is it charity shops vintage shops that are more affordable i will leave this day here tomorrow is the hour coach to brisbane another thing i would recommend is if you are going to brisbane and you wanted to book zoo or the koala sanctuary to like hold the koalas and stuff definitely book it prior we are trying to book it two days prior and that's just far too late i don't know why we didn't book before knowing that we had like two months to do it definitely book in advance if you are coming to australia anytime soon or if you're doing it next year prepping and that is all i've got to say <laughs> So I got chicken, mushrooms, green beans, avocado, spinach, like a masala corn fritters slash tomatoes kind of thing, and an egg on the side, which is actually really cute. But she could hold it up. Let's get that right on in there. Good morning, guys. So just before we get on the bus to Brisbane, we have just Googled because we are actually going to the Steve Irwin Zoo the day that it's like Steve Irwin Day. Look at that. His favourite animal was called Harriet. I think that's so cute. And she was a tortoise. Come on, say queen. arrived in Brisbane this is the hostel so we are actually staying in another nomads and we have just been to Coles so I am actually gonna show you what I got and I'm also gonna show you me trying the pickles I didn't actually try them when I was in surface paradise because the food that I ate filled me up so much and then I was so tired I just went straight to bed so I'm gonna try them here so it's also gonna try them with me because she absolutely loves pickles too I have actually ate some of them oops you didn't I did How dare you Harriet? so there was a little freezer that had like mochi in it had macaroons and you could get I think it was five for six dollars which is three pounds five macaroons and this other thing like an assorted little ice cream thing i've not tried that yet so i'm going to try it in a second never seen it in my life before all for six dollars which i thought was incredible and i also got another microwave meal because earlier i was like oh i really fancy like chinese or indian and i was like do i really want to pay that extortionate price in a restaurant whereas i could just get a microwave meal and to be honest it tastes the exact same i then got some watermelon for now and i got some garlic crackers and hummus so i got red pepper hummus this time because the caramelized onion one didn't really hit over here but at home it does i don't know if it's actually ice cream or if it's like a sweet oh my god sorbet i'm gonna save this macaroon for my dessert after my dinner i'm gonna try garlic joe this is the one that i think i'm gonna like the most oh my god it smells like mcdonald's pickles so bad right first taste they're like really hard. Yeah, I can barely even bite into that. Oh no, that's huge. <laughs> I know. No, why are you biting it like that? But I'm hard. I did like it, but not now. So, do you want to come try it? I'm a bit scared. Yeah, I'm not liking this little curly. Yeah, that's, like, that's why I took it from the side. It tastes like McDonald's. I know. It <laughs> that's McDonald's. You like it? Yeah, I don't think I would like sit and Eat the snack whole thing. on that. Yeah, it's more like you'd put yeah, it I like, like a mini one. That's nice. If you're going to get one and you like gherkins from McDonald's, mm, get that one. That's it, yeah, McDonald's. Like. So, group consensus yeah, sure the for juice. the garlic one is 10 out of 10. We like that one. And I don't know if I'm going to like this. <laughs> that has literally given me goosebumps. Don't like that one at all. I'd give this a two. I much prefer just pickles in a jar. I'm not liking all these different flavours. I thought they were going to be absolutely amazing, but I'm not really liking this hot mama one. Is scaring me. It's real scary out here. Oh my god, that smells like the devil's ass. Oh my god, that smells disgusting. I don't know if I could even eat that one. I'll tell you what guys, I think I'm going to bin it off and just have the uh, macaroon. <laughs> it's perfect. Raspberry is the best flavour and if you think otherwise, you're childish. That is it for this vlog. Tomorrow we are going to Australia Zoo on Steve Irwin Day, which is what I told you guys earlier. I actually think that's so cute. I used to love him when I was younger. I used to watch everything he did. So I'm actually really excited to go because I think it's owned by his son now. Super excited to go there. So I'm going to start a whole new vlog. That'll be Brisbane and Noosa. So I love you all so, so much. If you want to check out the previous vlogs, they will be in the description. If you want to confess anything to the people's diary, get some advice from Tub Talks. I am going to be doing a travel version while I'm over here. 
and Oz. So definitely send in your confessions down there. Hit a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, all of that jazz, and I will see you in the next video.